Anzac Day marches are getting underway across the country, honouring the brave men and women who served Australia. We have reporters in Sydney and Melbourne. Firstly, to Gabriella Power in Sydney. Gab, who is leading the march there in Sydney? Laura, the Governor of New South Wales, Margaret Beasley, is leading the march. We'll just show you what it looks like at the moment. Approximately 10,000 ex-service and serving personnel are taking part in the march. World War II veterans led the march this morning, followed by those who have served in the Navy, Army and Air Force, followed by those in support of Australian troops and descendants of Australian veterans. Earlier this morning, Premier Chris Min spoke at the dawn service. The wearying years toil onward, and the ways of the world are wide. But you who have left remember, though these whom you'd loved have died. Neither death nor the years can part you, nor the width of the world divide. And today, as you stand to salute them, they too will be here at your side. Around 45 bands are taking part in the march today, including bands uh, from the military, cadet bands, school bands as well, and thousands of people are lining the, the streets of Elizabeth Street, applauding and uh, waving at the Australian flag, and really here to honour those who served for our country, Laura. Gab, thank you.